a tropical welcome back to Lucas Island for episode 13 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back again. It's 12.23. I said I was going to do some logging because I need to buy some more gear. I have been talking to the folks at the distribution centre. Shipping centre? Shipping... Yeah. However you want to refer to it. And there's, there is some even more good news, which I'm really happy about. And that is that up to now, because I was only working off of one shipping company, so whenever any of their ships came past, we could have stuff dropped off. Because the distribution centre works with multiple shipping companies, it means that we can get stuff delivered pretty much like any other normal store can now. So if we want to order something, as long as it takes the next ship to come, we can have it. So we haven't got to wait two, three days each time for stuff to come now, which is an absolute result. Now the thing about this is, I'm, as you can see, I've already sold some, selling some more. 30 grand, I'll take that, nice. Uh, so I wanted to do the test because the distribution centre will take lumber and it will take the stuff for the palms for making palm oil off island. But I don't know what they'll pay for a tree. So what I've done is I've cut down two pretty much identical, I think they're almost identical. Yeah, once you push that up a little bit, they're pretty much identical. I'm going to sell one in here, see what we get. But my problem is taking the other one to the distribution centre. I've got my, my makeshift mobile. It has got straps. The problem is that the um, top section, I'm not sure what that's actually called on a palm tree. I have to look that up. It's huge and takes up most of the space. And if I cut that into two, maybe three pieces, if I could strap it down, maybe I can get it all in. But I guess what I really need is a login trailer. I don't want to carry on doing loads and loads and loads here if I find I can get twice as much at the, you know, selling at the distribution centre and taking it off island. I'm kind of processing it here myself. The other way of looking at it is if I just do it here, the, the process being that I'm going to put it through the lumber mill, it will go from the lumber mill distribution centre off island and that's how I'm getting my money. I forgot I had a grid across. I'm looking across thinking, is that a windscreen smash? No, it's not. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is... Hopefully, chop each one into identical pieces. So, or, or, or say identical. As close to as possible. Similar lengths. Let's just put it that way. Similar as we're going to get, I think. We'll do these into three, I think. These aren't going to be correct either, are they? Because that one's really short. Well, maybe this one needs to be four. Yeah. I, mean, I have picked, to be fair, the longest ones that we've got. So, hop over. Joins about there. Yeah, so that, that's, I mean, I'm probably have to wait till the morning anyway, which isn't too bad. But as I said in the last episode, we're going to be looking at getting a cedar feed mixer and maybe, I think I'm going to get a mini baler, regardless. But I'm going to get some to catch it in. And depending on what, how this works out, I might also see if we can order a log trailer. Because so I can probably pull it with this. It has got a, it has got, I love that. <laughs> it has got a trailer hitch, so we could put a log trailer on it. I suppose what I really need as well, maybe is to get rid of that. Now we've got the slightly bigger trailer. I say get rid of it. Where am I supposed to take it? And I suppose if I clean it all up and put it back where I found it, couldn't I? And then get something that I can pull a log trailer with. I mean, I've got my the Deutsch Salis, haven't I? I could just use that. This does come in very handy, though. I do like it. I know not everyone does. <laughs> So, right, okay, let's do one then. This this is a, <laughs> you can't really see, is it, is it 602, this one, the Leaper 602? No, 622. Um, I, I really have got to sort something out for cleaning. This also I need to take over to the little workshop and do a bit of, a bit of tinkering with, I think, because it's um, got a very bad feeling. Well, now we're about half repair, aren't we? 
it's weird how sometimes you put stuff in individually and you get a much better price than if you put it in together. But if I put this entire tree in now, although it's cut into four pieces, I will get a price. But what I've been finding is if I put a lot in, or you know, two or three trees at a time, that I'm not getting as much as I thought I would. Oh yeah, the cows as well. It must have a cow. It's all one good sort of now. If I haven't ordered the actual cows themselves, that's not really going to help very much, is it? Now I'm not going to go mad feed mixer wise. We're just going to get a feed mixer, something small. Right, so we're only going to maybe do two. I said two, maybe four cows. No, that's too much. There we go. Yeah, maybe four. I don't know. Just curious to see what this is going to come out like. I'm sure when I did these originally, it was about 12 grand a tree or something, wasn't it? For the really, really big ones. Not the, all the small ones aren't. But then I think one of the times I put in one of those you know, the top ends of the palm tree on the very big ones, I think I got about four grand just for one of those alone. But then weirdly, when I put it in with some other stuff, I didn't make much more than that, which I couldn't, I couldn't get mid round. I don't know. I've missed using this. I really do like this. It's a lovely bit of kit. It's even better when it's clean, but it's just a lovely bit of kit. Maybe that's what I need to get as well. I'll put on my list as well. We we'll need to get some... I mean, weirdly, we're around, it's completely surrounded by water, aren't we? But I need some way of pressurising that water so we can clean things. And I should just be able to get a... You know... Some damp moss, some damp moss, and put it in the water, and then just clean my machinery. But maybe, maybe we should do it properly. Right, let's see then. That's one. I can't see me getting it all in that trailer. What are we going to get for this? Yeah, thirteen grand. Right, thirteen grand for a massive tree. So what I need to do now is take all of that over to the distribution centre and see if we get thirteen grand for it over there. I'm not convinced we will. But all we can do is try. And if it is better to keep it here, process, process it ourselves, then we'll do it here. It'll be a lot easier in the fact that I won't have to take stuff miles to get there. We've still got some really big ones here as well to get rid of. I've been kind of clearing closest to the, uh, the, the sort of mill pond. And I'm going to have to start working way further out. Uh, I haven't even begun to even look in the, uh, the brochure to see... Um, how much stuff's going to cost? I, I have no, at this point, I have no idea what any of the stuff I need to buy is going to come to. So I suppose I should really do that as well. That way, I've got a figure in my head. I know where to be aiming for. So if I don't, I'm just um, that's a bit of a shot in the dark, really. I might have to do this in stages, you know. I think I'll take this first. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Take this first, drop it off, then come back and then put the logs in. Maybe. Mm. That's most insane. Will that strap? It will. There we go, look. That's I suppose I should have really put it in so it was sort of in the trailer rather than strapped on the top of the trailer. That's going to be quite top heavy now, isn't it? Anyway, right, I'll see you over there with all the stuff. We'll get all that sorted. Um, and then I'll probably see you in the morning. And we should have some more kit arriving. And then we can continue to move forward. What I want to, I'm really keen to get the cows underway. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, 
It was fun getting the logs off. <laughs> we'll end that. What I ended up doing, that's why I didn't show it. <laughs> I drove up, and as I got to about here, undid the straps, then turned sharply, so they kind of rolled. I just have to tie them up a little bit. So, 13,000. That's what I need to get. Or I'm sticking with what I do already. Oh, 13,208. Hmm. What do I do? That's not, I mean, that's negligible. Had it been I was getting 13 there and 20 here, I would be saying, you know what, it's, it's worth bringing it all here. I've still, oh, I still could though, couldn't I? I mean, it's the distribution centre. I suppose what we can do, if anything is needed offshore, I could bring it here. Maybe I will. I might get a log trailer as well anyway. I can do some here. I can do some over there. Processing it, loading it. Yeah, yeah, maybe a bit of both. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was either going to be really, really low or really, really high. <laughs> so, until the morning then. And, uh, yeah. I think maybe four cows. I think I'm going to go with four. I'm going to get on the radio. Get stuff ordered. I hope this grass grows. And uh, I'll see you in the morning for new gear. And that will open up a whole load more again. That was it was my mistake. I forgot to buy the cedar. I wanted. I was so oh chickens. <clears throat> I was so focused on getting all of the stuff done, ready for cows, making hay, prepping it, windrowing it, tedding it, all that. Just getting the cedar just didn't even cross my mind. And obviously then. Now thinking, oh, I could probably do with a mini baler, but then also I didn't even consider a feed mixer, which of course I'm going to need. I've got my water thing. Oh, that's what I meant to say as well. With some of the logs I've been doing, I've built some shelters. <laughs> I drove past one just now. I said I was going to do it, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to build some shelters to put my gear in. Now, obviously, not everything's in it. I could probably build another one actually, move some stuff and build another one. And I built one over there. Two, you can just about see my my grasswork gear. So uh, yeah, pleased with that. Beautiful having your own little lumber mill, wasn't it? I've done it again. Unlike a lot of the other vehicles, this thing takes a little while to get up to speed. So, nope, still there. There we are. Jet wash. That was the other thing, wasn't it? Or similar jet wash or cleaning equipment. I think what I might do as well, because I've been bringing the egg boxes over and stacking them on these pallets. We can now take those, they can either be sold offshore. Like I said, I might keep some for myself, just a box to one side. Hmm. We have got a few little things going now. It's surprising how, you know, that kind of, being able to get things shipped in, then that the distribution thing is just, it kind of opens it all out. And I, I, can't, I just can't thank Joe enough for that. It wasn't like it wasn't my idea. I wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to do. You know, how we were going to make full contact with the outside world, kind of thing. And that's kind of the perfect conduit through and out. So we can have stuff going out, stuff coming in, and it just the process is a bit smoother now, isn't it? Brilliant. We should be able to step up a gear. I'm probably going to do a little bit more logging now. I think uh, just to make sure I've got enough money for the bits I need to get. And uh, see you in the AM.
7.05 in the morning. I'm very excited. I'm going to the docks to collect my stuff. As you've seen, I've done a whole lot of different jobs I was doing. Uh, I remembered I hadn't cleaned out the pigs. I need. Oh, I still haven't fed the chickens. I need to do the chickens. No. I completely forgot. Oh, they've still got some. That's all right. Uh, the pigs, no, I've made a mess. I only cleaned them out last night. And then I remembered I hadn't put any manure on the whatchamacallits, the, the um, vegetable patches that I've got over there, the greenhouses hadn't been restocked, then I thought, well, let's go and wash the gear, let's, let's wash it in the water like I said I was going to, look how much better that looks, it's like a different vehicle, <laughs> although look, all the little chips and dings and bits on it, <sighs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the, do it's Alice, I'm going to grab the, hmm, I'm going to grab the water container because if my cows have arrived they are going to need water now provided everything I ordered has come which I think it might have done I did order a log trailer in the end I went for a HW80 wood trailer I have ordered well, you'll see what I ordered with regard to mixer it's a little mixer very little it's a little mammoth. It's a mammoth PM 4.0. And then we should have the cows. Well, sold. Oh, yeah, the, the um, cedar. Now, I do have a problem. It just suddenly dawned on me, literally, as I just hooked up to this trailer. Um, secondly, being. Oh, that was. Yeah. Did you notice when I was doing the video, when I was. Or the clip, when I was doing the greenhouses. Oh, it's not going to show it here, maybe when I get off the other end. If the water level is quite high, or my land level is low, whichever way you want to look at it, glass half full or half empty, it gives me the option to refill, or at least it's over on the other right. There, look, refill water trailer. So I don't need a water point. As long as there's water underfoot, so to speak, look, I'm refilling. Um... So I can fill up from the water there, but because I, I think we're just very, very low, very low lying, we can refill. Happy days. Yeah, the small baler. That was the other thing we got, didn't we? Small baler. It should all be there. The grass has grown, but not completely, which means I can still see where the hay is. Actually, it stands out a lot more now because the grass is quite dark. I haven't checked to see... Yes, this is my first time driving over here. Oh, there's stuff out in the dock, look. Whether or not the grass has grown on the cow pasture, because I don't think it has. Which is going to be a bit... Ooh, oh, no, it has. Look at that. Marvellous. Marvellous. So it does grow back exactly how it should be. Oh, that looks perfect. Uh, actually, I need to leave this here. I'm not sure where the water point is. That'll be the one on the end. Right. Although livestock is going to be... Right, there's my trigger on the end there. I'm definitely going to put another crop in the ground. Oh yeah, the cedar. That was what I started off by saying. Then I suddenly remembered about the water. Um, <laughs> the cedar I bought... I don't think it's going to fit across that little, my little land bridge. <laughs> I've gone for a six metre one, because it's cheap as well, so I've tried to get cheap stuff as you can see, and because I refilled all the greenhouses and my gardens, my money's gone back up again, which is brilliant. So, here we have our selection. We have got the John Deere 8350, yes, the John Deere 8350, I've used this before, Washo, I definitely used it. I used multiple ones. I think it does everything. Is it direct drills? I can't remember. I really like it. But I'm thinking now I should have gone for a six metre wide one that connects to the end. We shall see. So, log trailer. That will, may come in handy. We're going to do something with that. We should have cows in here. But again, we've gone different. We've been supplied with Brahmins. I don't do Brahmins very often. Look at the mammoth. Is that not just a dizzy little mixer? It's only about 6,000 litres. 
and then the Galignani. Now the Galignani can work with the what is it, Seren or Ceres? Seren? I think it's Seren gas. Ceres. There's a there's an attachment that goes on, and it puts them in eights, drops off the back on the floor. But I haven't got anything to pick them up with, so if I'm going to pick them up by hand, it just makes sense just to leave them on the floor. So first things first, let's get my cows in place. Then I'll give them some water. Then we'll sort out. Can we make some tart mix ration with our little mixer? I think I'll do bales later. But it does mean also now moving forward I can crack on with getting some seeding done too. And if there's anything I suddenly think of that I have forgotten, I'm sure it's all I had on my list. There's going to be new stuff. I'm thinking now we've got cows. I, I'm pretty sure I want to go with sheep. Oh, the other thing I remembered as well, you know, you probably noticed when I was talking about it, the land, when I said about Field 9, I already own it. Well, I mean, technically, it's owned by the island. And it had to be purchased because of building the land bridges out. I couldn't do it because it wouldn't let me join onto the land because I didn't own the land here. So technically, we already own Field 9. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll pay for it. We'll, we'll still kind of purchase it so we can do our log cabins, which we are going to do at some point also. I'm kind of excited. Let's see if we can open that up. Let's get our four Brahmins in. I think we've got one of each. Why are we not registering? There we go. Confirm. Fold that up. Yes. We've now got four cows. Oh, brilliant. I, I, I don't know why. I know it's sad and embarrassing. I feel like a little kid. It's, it's, I'm, I'm finding it really refreshing and fun being back on here. And now I've gone another step further. And they're wandering off in the long grass. Um, I thought water was going to be at the end. Um, oh, is that milk? Water's going to be one of these, isn't it? That's milk on the end. You map it, it's going to be the blue one, isn't it? There we go. Get some water in. So let's check now, because I'm not quite sure what else we need here. Cow pasture. Brahmins. Glennis is fine. Turtle mix ration. Water. They don't need bedding. They don't need straw across them. There's no bedding area. So they've got their water. We just need TMR. So I can take that. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab... Oh, they look brilliant, don't they? I mean, obviously, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> People often do. I, I can't think if I've done Brahmins before, have I? I've done Brahmins before. Of course, it's entirely possible. Livestock trailer can go back to the dock. Because I think what we'll do... Well, whatever we get delivered next, they can take it away. And if we do decide to go down the sheep route, because all they're going to need is grass, and I've got plenty of that, and then we can get some more, you know, we'll get wool, and we can sell wool either through the distribution here, or we can maybe have some wool products we could sell if we decide to go down the tourist route. It's all things for people to see as well, isn't it? Let's leave that there. Well, I'm kind of looking forward to... I don't know what to do now. I have got the ingredients I need, although I need to open the silage clamp. And I really need something with a small bucket, don't I? I've only got the bucket on the crawler, and that's huge. It's 8,000 litres. I need something small that I can utilise. Have I, hang on, have I got the front loader for the... 
fence. I can't remember, you know. So I thought I could put straw in here and then square bales. I might be able to do the square bale in the next episode. Yeah, probably do the square bale in the next episode. Look at that thing. I saw it in the brochure and thought, you know what? We don't need it to be massive. And I don't mind if I have to do, you know, two or three runs or more. It really doesn't matter. We'll come back for the water later. Eggs, and then we collect, collect them to we take the plough back because I, I just forgot. Got so wrapped up sorting everything else out. Let's open this. What did I do with the front loader? Did I leave it up at the store? There we go. Right. Now I don't know what the ratio is going to be here. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a standard mix. I can either do it just silage and hay, or I can pad it out with straw, because I've got a bit of straw. Which I could well do. But either one, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just trying to think of the mix. 6,000 litre capacity, half of that hay is 3,000, so it'd be 1,500 litres. How am I going to do that? 1,500 of straw. 1,500 of silage and 3,000 of hay. That should be right, shouldn't it? Yeah. And if at any point I want to just drop the straw off that, I can. Just do 3,000 and 3,000, which would probably be you know, fairly easy to. It's just whether or not I can do this quick enough. So... already too much uh, then we want so we're gonna to go to 4,500 with hay <gasps> no I've just messed that up royally this is gonna be really difficult the, the thing just goes too quick doing it loose is gonna be really hard so I think small bales the silage I can put in last, maybe. It depends what size bales that baler does. If the baler does 500 litre bales, that'll be perfect. I'll just do combinations of... Can I unload this? Can I split it, though? it put pellets in there? Oh, that's mildly annoying. So I guess putting the hay out... Whoa, hang on. Maybe I'm going to have to bail them. I was hoping to leave them. Can I do it really quickly? I just know I'm going to make a real mess this time. Four, six. Okay. So, if we do the rest silage, we should be able to get a mix. It should still turn, hopefully, to total mix ration. But I'm going to need the front loader. Sure, one. I shall go and look for it on the island. We'll see in a minute. I need to get this mix done. I'm, I'm happy about the fact we've got it. I'm happy the fact, the fact we've got everything. I'm definitely going to do bales. What I might even do is get a load of straw out of the silo and do what I've done before, drive along as fast as I can, spread the straw back out on the ground and then bale it. Because I think hand mixing is going to be a lot easier. Right, let's go and see if I can find this front loader. I'm very happy. It was the up of the workshop. I just had to using the tools, toolkits, 
I just had to uh, put the front loader configuration on so it would hook up to it. And what we should be able to do now, buckets, bucket 1200, somewhere like that. One thousand two hundred and forty, I guess it's supposed to be. This is a fairly small bucket, but I'm looking at that, thinking that looks massive compared to that mixer. It's going that side. That's where the sun's coming from. There we go. That's better. The question is, has that changed? Or would it change colour and turn to total mix ration? Please, 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 please. I don't know if it has. It hasn't. It's back to the drawing board. <laughs> of truth. Will I maintain my good mood? <laughs> Come on. Yes! Total mix ration. 6,000 litres. Can I at least get them going? So what I'll probably do off screen maybe I'll do another run of total mix ration the same way I've just done this and I think next episode we'll get the rest of the gear over I need to get some seeding underway and I want to do bales so we'll get some small bales done with the hay I am going to get some loose straw out of the silo and I'm going to run it out in a strip and we're going to do some square bales as well for straw that way we should be able to control it a little bit more what side am I set on I'm not sure we are on tip side left I want to be on tip side right Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and how much are they going to need is the next question. We are... Oh, probably one more load. No, that's big. <laughs> oh, God get a grip oh, actually yeah probably not far off another load and a bit so one more and we'll be good to go awesome so that will give us the milk we need for us but also I guess what we can look moving forward can't we we can probably add a few more in. I'm not sure how many that holds. Is it 10? I can check that. So I will now do something again, load it all up, and go again. Now, if this is if this has been done correctly, this will have been scheduled. Today is my birthday, the 30th of July. So um, I'm probably out and about. This will be automatically set to release. And if I get enough time, I know this is going to sound weird, tomorrow, because <laughs> this is being recorded on Tuesday, but it will be posted on Friday. I'll try and get another one up, if I can. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you've enjoyed this one. There is definitely more to come. If you have, if you are, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>